All right. So, uh, introduce yourself for me, man. Uh, yeah, this is Zay Hutchins, um, owner of Art by Zay Studios and Low Pro Inc. Uh, and also a co-owner of what is the collage. Got you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And um, so let's get straight to it, man. Uh, I know this is an overly obvious question, but are you a fan of music? Hell yeah. And which genres would you be a fan of? Or is it all music or? Uh, preferably hip hop, R&B, like that type of stuff. I like a little alternative with a little funk or whatever. I like old school music, stuff like that. Um, if I hear something outside of those genres that's, you know, that I like, yeah, I'll jam it. But for gotcha. the most part, like, yeah, that's pretty much my little ram of music taste. I feel you deeply. I reach into the others a good bit just because I fell in love with guitars and things. But right, right. Nah, I definitely understand why. Why rap? Why R&B? Because, man, it just... That was the music genre that represented us the most. You know what I'm saying? When yes. I saw music videos, we was the ones that were dominating, you know, that, that scene. You know I, what I'm saying? And, I agree with know, all that. Do you were on have it? Do you do top fives like favorites? Do I do top? I mean, not really. Cause it's like I there's like a top five as far as like lyrically, technically, and all that type of stuff, and then I have my personal top five. So you know, yeah. I understand that, right? I understand that deeply too. I'm not a major fan of like doing exact favorites right, because right. I'm a big student of the game. Right? Do you have any artists like who's your like one that you listen to everything they've dropped? Or like you go back and get everything from them or is it? Oh yeah, hell yeah. I've had a few select artists um, that I did that with growing up from T.I. to Outkast to uh, pretty much anything Southern. But as far as like growing up, it was definitely T.I. Um, and Outkast. And then as I got into college, it was more like Cuddy, but then I fell off with Cuddy a little bit because he kind of <laughs> started doing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but at first, like, and he, you know, when he he was always different, but it just he had a certain turn. Yes. Um, out the Man on the Moon, the first or uh, Man on the Moon too. Um, but in that era, um, the artists that I've been listening to. Like just everything is uh definitely crit, um, J. Cole and Kendrick. Those are my three. Um just cause of how they all attack they craft. Yeah. And it's all in a different manner. Um Crit, he has everything that I like, you know, that's southern. Ooh. And yeah. it's like Ooh, yeah. But he he put his heart and soul into it, and he he just you know he has a song for pretty much any thing you may be going through, and you know, and it's almost like he speak for you in these songs, and it's just I don't know. He just always been a, a artist that I've you know follow just from the yes. beginning, from when I first heard him on um uh. What was that song? With him, Currency, and Wiz. Oh, uh, gla was that Glass House? Glass House. Glass House, yeah. Ever since then, man, he just he just been popping for me. Mm -hmm. um, and even with this last album, he kind of went like a little funk with it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, and it's did. still ride, you know what I'm saying? It's not necessarily what I... I still miss that old crit, you know what I'm saying? I need that. But yes. this is cool too. Like yes. I like and also like cuz that's that's a album more so by uh relationships. 
You know what I'm saying? And yes. Yes. That and Crick always had a thing with me where it's like he'll drop an album at a time in my life where I feel like I need it. Like it's mm. like a soundtrack almost. Yeah. And when he dropped that album that was on relationship, I was really going through shit in a relationship. So yes, it was I just could like do. it was just on time. So he always was the one who did that. Um and same with Cole and Kendrick. Like they just always like just kind of took their turn. And just grabbing my attention of just how they, you know, attack the crowd. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah, I feel that. Do you feel like you were clinging to it because of, or liked it so much because of where you're from? Or did that have some, something to do with it? Being able to attribute, like, attach that to them? Yeah, definitely. Where we, uh, for Crit, it was more so where we, where I'm from, and like the content behind it, because yes. it had so much substance. Same with uh, Cole and Kendrick, but they spoke on more concepts of like, you know, life from their perspective, and there was in, you know, there were some things that I can definitely relate to. You yeah. know, yeah. Kendrick in the gang life, I don't know nothing about that shit, Nothing. but I get all that that he's speaking on. Exactly, yo. <clears throat> so I, I I agree with all that. I really feel all that. Yeah. Um, do you have any uh what are any go to classics? Like what are some of your go to classics from Crib or like T I? Like when you said like what would you put as like that represents their work? Oh, definitely for T I it's it's trap music. It's trap music, and then um, I say paper trail after that. Mm. I can um, definitely feel uh, trap music because I had to go back and re home through that one because right. he had some things in there. Hell yeah, bro. He, he, yeah, he was wide range with that one. Another good one that caught me off guard, too, when I went back and listened to it was Urban Legend. Oh yeah, that's hard too. When I that's went like back, top three, yeah, yeah. Because like even out back that, then, I was he had a, he had a run from like even I like unserious for what it was. That was you a clean ass saying? first album, Hell yo. Yeah, solid. And then trap music came and clean ass second album. Took, and I was in Atlanta during that time, so like <laughs> in the high school, it was like you can hear people chanting the, the words to the lyrics. You know what I'm saying to the song, and it was just you could just feel that energy at that time. Uh, yeah, he fucked up. He fucked up my high school with yeah, uh, yeah. I'm Serious. That was the CD to have. Yeah. Especially yeah. being from Georgia, yo. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, Crick, it just... He just got so many to me. Uh, <laughs> from Return of Forever. Ooh, that's what... I feel on, like man. that was probably, like... That's probably number one. That's probably, like, the mixtape or the album that I go to the most. Um, but can you remember that time? That shit is hard. Down to uh, forever is a mighty long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, his no, double no, album. Good. You know, and that song. I mean, those are those are good choices and good quotes because I fuck with his catalog hard. So, can you remember that time I had that on vinyl? Uh, and then the return of forever's will put me on him. Do you have anybody that was an experimental jam? It turned out to be a really good listen to. Uh, I like Childish Gambino. Like, damn, that was a good one. Like, he hard, man. And like I said, I like Cuddy. Like in the beginning, like Man on the Moon. That's a classic uh, mixtape, in my opinion. Um, him in a combination with Wiz, that was a good time too, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of when I first started like really blowing it down, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And during that, those those some interesting summers. Um, but yeah, definitely uh, Childish Gambino. I remember back when he was like rapping like Lil Wayne and shit. Mm -hmm. And then he switched his whole style to like Awaken My Love. Ooh. That shit was... I feel like that's a classic album. Oh, wow. I got some um, research to go do now. Yeah, man. Like, it has this own, like, it feel like you in a, inside of, like, a, a concert in probably the 80s or Ooh. the 70s. No, the 70s. Fuck that. The wow. 70s. Listen to it, man. Like, front to back. 
Do you have any, um, have you been to any good concerts to see any of these folks? Uh, not many. I definitely seen Crit. I seen Crit on three different occasions. One being him uh, inviting me to a listening party of his for uh, return. Well, forever is a mighty long time. Which is ridiculously huge. Huge, man. Like, I never in my wildest dream would, ex you know, would think that I would be that close to him. And basically just off the script of my art, you know what I'm saying? I did a portrait of him for an art show and posted it online and his- uh, Audio can't hear me shaking my head over here. <laughs> oh yeah, man. So yeah, his promo manager, she just happened to see it and reached out and was like, hey, we would like to have your work. Uh, featured at uh crit's listening party which is also like an art show as well and so yeah they invited me down to atlanta so that just being home and being in that environment it just kind of that shit was overwhelming at a, a certain point you know what i'm saying but it was a good time man that yeah I, that's a home run if i ain't never heard it yeah for sure so um r and b R&B. Yeah. I know we always go to the crates when it's R&B. Because yeah. especially me, I'm a crate digger. But who do you feel like today is worth listening to? Uh, To me, my top two. Yeah, I was on Steve Lacey, you know, since when he was with the Internet. Like, I always felt like he was the best one out of that whole group. And uh, that's been a career that I've been following because he kind of has his own style. He ain't, you know, it's just his own vibe. You know what I'm that's saying? That's how it's, it's supposed cool. to be, yo. He, he, the way he makes his music is interesting, too. Like, a lot of his, some of his albums that he put out, he made just off, off his phone. He's that talented, and it sounds that good. You know wow, what I'm saying? Wow, yo. So, that's crazy. Um, but... Other than that, I mean, I listen to Brent. Oh yeah, that's a real good call right there, Brent yeah. Fire. Yeah, he's. I always, I always get so messed up saying his last name. Yeah, that's I don't what I want just to murder say Brent. Him. Yeah, but yeah, man, Brent Fire is. Yeah, he's killing it, yo. He's yeah, killing it for sure. Do you have any um, like favorite producers or anybody uh, who like you've heard that shook your head in that game? What was the question? Well, like producers or anything? Do you go that far to know any producers or follow any producers in that aspect of who you uh, like? Producers, like, one that's been hitting it out the park for sure is uh, Hit Boy. Um, what he's been doing with Nas. And I just heard that he's going to be uh, working with Music Soul Child. Which, oh, my God. You know, Music Soul Child was, you know, he was hot back in the early 2000s, boy. They like, <laughs> him, Anthony Hamilton, like, that whole little era, Jill Scott. Yeah. Um, that was like, oh, no, it's all good. It's all good. We get the game still. Like, let me just... Yeah. Um, but yeah, Hit Boys definitely won. Um, I haven't really like looked that far into the music to like really, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, notice like who is like producing what or whatnot. So, but what Hit Boy has done with like Nas and stuff. Yes, <laughs> it's hard. You know yes. what I'm saying? And he got a lot of shit that even when I go down his catalog, it's like, damn, he did that shit. Oh, he did that shit. And cause he don't really, I don't think Hit Boy has like a, a sound. You know how like some yes. producer have like a sound where it's yes. like, that's that's that producer. But mm -hmm. Hit Boy, he's so well versed in everything, sampling, instrumentals, like all that type of shit. Like he really, he's hard, so. That's what's up, yo. Yeah. I really feel, I back then, um, yo. I like Tyler the Creator, like him as an artist. Um, oh yeah, shit, shit. I, I got yeah. into his music, and he he does a lot of his music. Like he creates a lot of his music from scratch, and oh. that's one thing that I like about 
rappers or artists, like the ones that I like the most are the ones that can create it from scratch, like the music, the beat, mm. you know, all of that from the, you know, that can make a song just out of thin air, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't need nobody. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's hard. Um, but what's, yeah, Tyler, definitely. What's one of your favorite albums, period? Like ever? <laughs> just, or just any, not like, I know, not absolute favorite, but you know, what's something that you gotta listen to at least once a year? Uh, um, Aquamini. Oh, shit. Definitely. Return of Forever. Definitely. Uh,. I don't know. Freddie Gibbs, that album was hard, man. Like, I find myself returning back to that album a lot. I still got to sit with it just Which to one? see. Soul, Soul Separately? Soul, Soul Separately. Wow. Like, Rat the Vision was fucked me up. Yeah, that's hard. Like, Grandma Stole, all that. Like, um... Like I said, trap music. Um, Awaken My Love. Um, Tyler's album, actually, the one he just dropped with DJ Drama, mm -hmm. that one's hard. I find myself returning back to that. Like, That's one that fucked the game up when it yeah, dropped. Yeah, man. Like, Call me if you get lost. Dude. Yeah, man. And DJ Drama. I don't know, man. Like, just me being from that era, a lot of people didn't like that. Like people from Tyler's fan base, they didn't really understand like the DJ drama, like all that shit. Him talking over the track. That's their fault. But it's that's like the, 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 we that's remember Gangsta Grill, so it's like yeah, this shit is hard. Like D -D, the Gangsta Grill, yo, right. yeah. as a series, yeah. yo, yeah. us being from Georgia, you being from the ATL. Yeah. That's another question. Do you have a favorite Gangsta Grill? Now I haven't listened to an ass against the grills, mm -hmm. but the one that I did have to hear was Bun B's uh The Legend series volume one. Mm -hmm. Uh I guess uh DJ Drama wanted to do a legend series, uh, so he started with uh, B uh Bun B. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that shit was crazy. He just dropped that album uh I think Trillmatic Part Three. It's like a six song album. And that shit is pretty hard with Static Select. Static Select is hard too. Oh, did you hear the full one they did? They did the uh they oh, they did uh Trill Static. They wanted that what you talking Trill about? Trillmatic, yeah. Oh like they did like they just dropped one uh like a month ago. Trill oh, I didn't know. Oh, so what you saying is yeah, they did multiple. Wow. Yeah, they do it. Well, this is actually Trillmatic 2, and actually at the end of uh Trillmatic 2, he mentioned that yeah, it's gonna be a Trillmatic. Trillmatic 3. Because 1 was crazy. Yeah. 1 was two, crazy. 2 is just as hard. Oh, wow. And I got to go back and now, yeah, I got some listening to two 1 is, was crazy. But 2 the, is just as hard, man. Oh, wow. You just blew my mind yeah, with yeah. that one, yo. So, like, yeah, I be dipping in, like, Southern artists. Like, I grew up on Bun B. I remember, you know, Get Throwed and all that shit. Like, of course, man. Of yeah, course. So, like, those artists back in those times, like, I always dip in and see, like, what they got going on, even though they not as popular as they were once was back uh -huh. in the day uh -huh. uh, so yeah yeah I definitely I'm with you and I'm in line with you with that I gotta go get up on those um damn do you who well did you uh Damn, I got my mind spinning around the mixtapes. <laughs> yeah, you got my mind really spinning around the mixtapes. Oh, you asked me what well, my, my favorite uh, gangster group is. Yeah. Who's your favorite? Do you uh, have one for that? I mean, it got to be a uh, trap or die, man. <laughs> like, there's this. So. That, that time was a different time. But one that's, that's uh, I feel like it slept on is uh, T.I.'s The Leak. Yes. This was like during the time where he first, uh, like right before he came out with King and what you know about that and all that. Like yeah. this was right before he was like peaking. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. To, yeah. I think I know what you. I know the mixtape you're talking about, yeah. but I can't say that I yeah. have. I haven't heard it. Yeah, T.I. went on a run, man, from, like, trap music to urban legend to King. Yeah, like, yeah, that he whole, was doing it. 
Because yeah. right around that trap music time is when he did that beef with Flip and he did the damn with the King Gangster. Yeah, yeah. Because I heard that on. one. That's what put him on. Yeah, that, 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 that he kicked some ass with that one. Yo. He yeah. kicked some ass with that one because yeah. he was dropping songs from King, no, from Urban Legend on that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, and saying it soon. Urban Legend coming soon. Urban yeah. Legend coming soon. Yeah, yeah. He was doing Even that name, beats from yo. all that type of shit. Huh? I said he was doing jacking for beats, all that type of shit. Exactly, yo. That's what you do when it's hip hop. Mm-hmm. Um, do you have anybody that uh, locally you fuck with? Like underground tip? Well, really just, you know, from the underground tip that you really fuck with? Uh, it's quite a bit, actually. Um, as I dip into, you know, having these events and, you know, featuring these local artists, man, I'm definitely like VP the Scholar. Um, definitely yourself, man. Like, whenever you get on the mic, like, it's serious. Um, Sierra Denise, Phil Beach, <laughs> you know, yeah. Goyles P, you yeah. know what I'm saying? That's yeah. somebody who I've been fucking with because, you know, I know him on a personal level. Uh, he's like my long, one of my longest friends, you know what I'm saying? Mm. He's been doing music as long as I've been doing art and we kind of always had that, you know what I'm saying? I love to hear that type stuff. And so, yeah. Um, but as far as local, like, I fuck with Breeze, his style of music, Zakeen. He kind of getting on, like, that alternative kind of, like, what is it called, EDM? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Like, he about to go, some, go crazy with some shit. Exactly. Uh, Anybody you waiting to see in concert? Anybody you got to see soon ASAP? The people I want to see is definitely uh, Kendrick. I wouldn't mind seeing, uh, damn, why well, I ain't thinking him when it came to R&B? Uh, Anderson Park. Yes, I sir. I want to see him, man. I've been fucking with Anderson Park when he Hard. Sits. Yeah. Hard. Yeah. He deserves every bit of shine he gets, yo. Yeah, man. How did you feel about the Silk Sonic? I fuck with that, too. Like, I feel like it was a cheat code. <laughs> But he deserved that alley you. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, man. Like Boosie Collins in the yeah, back. Yeah. Like it made sense. When you heard on paper, it, it sounds just like how it sounds like on paper, like the music did. Wow. Just, hearing, just hearing the concept of that, the music sounds just like that. Like it's Damn, yo. Yeah. I agree with that outright. I agree with that. Did you hear the uh, song with Crit Cole and Kendrick? They ready? Oh, yeah. yeah. Were you ready? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wish it was more of it, man. Like, Come on, man. Come on. Yeah, like, I know Crit, uh, Wiz, and Smoke Dizzle dropped the album. I got to hear it, but did you hear yeah. the song Santos Party House? Yeah, it's on that album. Oh, okay, that, yeah, because yeah, they went yeah. crazy on that yeah. song. They got a few They got a few slaps on there. Bad. Yeah, they got it. They, uh, the producer of that is this dude called uh, Girl Talk, and he does, like, He's an interesting producer. He does a lot of like mashups of like popular songs, but I he do that. like shit that you wouldn't even think of. I love that shit. Like he'll do like James Brown over some fucking Nelly Furtado, but it'll sound hard. That's like, how it's supposed like, to fucking be though. That's like, him doing this. What the fuck is this? Like it's hard though. Have you, you ever know? got into any of those like online, like found those mashups and things of, like of that nature? I never went that deep into it, but like he was just one that I stumbled upon. Cause uh, he had like a few mixtapes. Like I think I just downloaded one like off of that, that piff during that time, mm. and like that shit was hard. Bad. Now I got now I got to look into girl talk. Yeah. Just blew my mind on that. Mm-hmm. Do you have a oh man a random hip hop head question? Do you have anybody that you are waiting to hear do songs together? Waiting to hear. Yes, or did you hear any, and is, are there any unofficial people, like people who did songs together that you think should be doing more songs together? I know you just said that about Crick, Cole, and Kendrick, how they did that one track, and how, like, as some great heads, shit, they should be doing more shit together. I think 
Crit and Andre. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, oh, man. We know what we know what's coming after you say Andre. Everybody should know that. Three stacks. Yeah. Three thou. Andre with Kendrick. Really, Andre with just Andre. <laughs> oh, you stupid. <laughs> man. Did you see the Andre? Did you see the Outcast photo shoot they released not too long ago? I haven't. I think I have. Somebody somebody had it up on my Facebook. They I had a photo shoot they just did together. Yeah, yeah. I think I did. I got to revisit it, but I feel like I did. Mm. It was kind of like an earth tone-ish background or something yeah. like that. Yeah. So, I take it Dre is up there on the top of your list, like toward the top of your list. Of huh? course, man. Of course. <laughs> the, just the creativity and how he just put... Words together and shit. And tell stories and all of that, man. It's just he is one of the ones that can paint pictures verbally that I can see. You know what I'm saying? Um, I be- I believe in that when a person can do it visually for you. Yeah. Like, did you ever get into like a moto technique? In the deep political rap and stuff like something, things like that, or like nah. Dead Prez, any of those heads, nah, the New close. York crates. Nah, I mean I did got into some Cube, Ice Cube. He there you go. Kind of oh shit, I didn't go that direction. <laughs> oh wow. He was a he was a different type of political. Exactly, you know exactly. Who do you feel like is one of your favorite picture painters? Like, or do you are like, do you have any specific songs where like? You know, like have just painted crazy pictures for you when you was like, Wow, I feel some folks with that. Since you went to Cool um, Cube, I'll mention Brenda's got a baby from Pac. I remember right. when I really realized what he was saying. Right. For me it was a uh, Crit. Uh, he had this song called What the Fuck. And it was uh basically like a spoken word poem over a beat. And that was just one of those things where I was like, damn, that and that, I like that song so much because of this song that I'm about to mention now, which is Spody Odie Dope Delicious, which is another like spoken word, which is another spoken word style like song. That's like one of my favorite songs of all time. That may be my favorite song. That, between that and Voyage to Atlantis by the Ozzy Brothers, and Zoom from the Commodores. Wow. Like those three. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. the way Andre and Big Boy, niggas be sleeping on Big Boy, he can paint some pictures too. Um You better not. Yeah, the both they the uh the ways that they both slid on that shit, man. That shit was To go there with you to quote uh do you remember the song Sorry? From uh, T.I.'s album. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember how he? everybody, you know, T.I. was saying to himself, he's like, oh, Andre, you know, smoked me. Andre did me in on my own song. But do you remember what Andre said to him about it all? What's that? Stop, because I wrote this because of what you said. Like, right. when you brought it to me and it had that on there, I did this because of you. And so that's I what I like about Andre, because he do, like, he work off of passion. Like, if he feel that shit, he'll jump on it. You know what I'm saying? Whether you, you know what I'm saying, on the remix of Walk It Out or motherfucking that song, Sorry. Oh, wow, yeah. Saying? Great call. You know, Great the same call. with First the one song that he did with uh, Kanye when they was talking about their moms. You heard that oh, verse. Oh, hell. Hard, boy. And that was the same shit. He was like, I did that song because I was talking with Kanye and that was that was supposed to be the theme. So he's always been like that. Like, long as you give him that spark, he gonna take it and burn the motherfucking building down, nigga. <laughs> Damn, boy, yeah, you just pulled it out on that one. I forgot about the Donda track. Yeah, right, but yeah, he, so. yeah. Oh my, oh my. Yeah, man. Oh, wow. Great, 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 great analysis with that one. So then, I think liberation has got to be up in the top of you. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, uh, who don't you listen? Who not? Who aren't you going to give the time of day to with any music? Who have you just written off? 
It's like, nah, I'm not listening to that shit. <laughs> Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> And Kanye, man, he was one of the ones in the beginning, man, where he had a run. That those first three, yeah, the producing was wild too, man. Yeah, like, man, look at like, his hits and he like, was my favorite artist at one time. Man. Oh, he took, he took that turn, man. Like, you know, yes, I'm yes. one of the ones. Like, I'm not like uh, just a. Uh, a part of the cult where it's like just because you oh, made the no. music, oh man, you know you're what I'm singing saying? it now. Nah, I ain't doing that. Like, you, yeah, that was cool at one point in time, but you know, you on some fuckery right now, so I gotta, I gotta fall back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, bad, bad. Well, so yeah, I feel all that. Like, man, have you? What? What's the furthest you went for a concert so far? The furthest? Uh, yeah. Uh, just Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> Being in Savannah, ain't number three hours, so that ain't bad. Right. So that ain't bad. Right. Yeah, I went to Atlanta true. to see Freddie Gibbs. So. Right. So that's right up the street. Exactly. You know that ain't saying? bad at all. I want to go the other way, go to like Raleigh in North Carolina somewhere. Yeah, that too. You Catch know? some shows. Yeah, of course. I definitely want to do. That's something that I plan to do in the future. Mm. So, well, I'm trying to think, what are some of your go? What's some of your throwback go tos on the R and B tip? Then, since we already brought up the Commodores, y'all brought up Boys to Atlantis. Do you have any? What's some of your classic go throw, go back throw? You know, the go to for the throwbacks. Uh. Yeah, really like anything Ozzy Brothers. Um, I throw in Earth, Wind, and Fire. I throw in uh, Marvin. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Like even like the neo soul era with like Jill Scott, Anthony Hamilton. Nineties, eighties, seventies. Uh, it's probably like nineties. Um early 2000s because I grew up on that so it's like you know you kind of when you hear those songs you kind of remember where you were during those times and shit like that exactly. so it kind of it kind of have that whole mystique to it versus you know a song that you heard your mama playing you yes. know yes when yes it's time to clean up uh -huh. you know what I'm saying and it just kind of sticking with you but uh yeah yeah, I would say like the the nineties, early two thousands. Cause that's I think after that, like R and B just kinda turned more into rap. It kinda had that that period of time. Yeah, that's when they were using all those beats. So yeah. Do you have a favorite sample or that was flipped? Yeah, that's a good question. One that you heard and was like, gosh, damn, that's clean. Like that Santos Party House when I brought yeah. that up, that was a queen to flip. Yeah. Uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dig on that brain. Oh, man. The one that's coming off the top of my head is uh, Girls, Girls, Girls by Jay-Z. Oh, what Kanye did with that. That was hella nasty. Kanye too. did he with that. He evolved so many folks on that. What? Like, yeah, he was in his bag with that one. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, being that, we have reached the height. I'm about to cap it off. Okay. Um, tell the folks, well, like, you know, I know we mentioned Crit and T.I. Do you have any songs that you go to for inspiration that drive you when you're down or, like, when you go to for hope or anything like that? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> one of Crit songs. Uh, it's called Something. And that's off his first mixtape, Crit Was Here. 
Boy, you killed that one. Yeah, yeah. the mixtape, the lad, the mixtape that he said was gonna be his last mixtape. If that shit didn't work out, cause he been doing music like prior to then. Yeah. And he was just like, this mixtape, I'm just gonna throw all what I got in this motherfucker. And if this shit don't work, I'm taking it back to Mississippi or whatever. And that song kind of like embodied that. You know what I'm saying? And like, wow. And I that, that. And he got a, uh, that's a, I think a Ozzy, he got an Ozzy brother sample behind that. That's yeah. cold as fuck too. Can like, you leave you alone? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's my jam too. That album fucked me up. Yeah, yeah, yeah man, that makes me like, fuck the chest. Yeah, it's yeah. very good call. Very good call. That's a hard one, man. Like, that's. Yeah, for sure. And also, man, um, right fast, tell the people where to find you, man. Tell the people, you know, where to... To... Uh, physically, you can find me at the Collage. Whoop, 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 you know whoop, whoop. what I'm saying? 48 Posey Street. Uh, this is where I have my studio. It's the Art Maze Studio and Low Pro Inc. Um, online, you can find me at Art by Zay World on Instagram. Zay Hutchins on Facebook. And Art by Z Studio, well, abzstudio.com um, online. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Well, thank you so much. And uh, I appreciate you. Thank you for being on Signature Views, man. And uh, peace, brother. All right, brother. Be safe. <laughs>